Ο Θεό τη λάστιμη με το λόγο και λέει σώμα. Με γάπη γκρέσι τη μίστρα να μερσιώνει. Ο Θεό τη λάστιμη με το λόγο και λέει σώμα. Blessed is our God always, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to you, O Christ, our God, our hope. Glory to you, O heavenly King, comforter, the spirit of truth, everywhere present and filling all things, treasury of blessings and giver of life. Come and dwell in us, cleanse us of every stain, and save our souls, O gracious one. Αμήν, Άγιος ο Θεός, Άγιος ισχυρός, Άγιος εθάνατος ελέησον ημάς. Άγιος ο Θεός, Άγιος ισχυρός, Άγιος εθάνατος ελέησον ημάς. Άγιος ο Θεός, Άγιος ισχυρός, Άγιος εθάνατος ελέησον ημάς. Δόξα Πατρί και Ιώ και Άγιο Πνεύματι. Και νυν και αή και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων αμήν. Παναγία Τριάς ελέησον ημάς, Κύριε Ελάστητη της αμαρτίας ημών. Δέσποτα συγχώρησον Δόξα Πατρί και Ιώ και Άγιο Πνεύματι και νυν και αή και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων αμήν. Πάτερ ημών ο εν της ουρανής, αγιαστήτω το όνομά σου, ο θέτου η βασιλεία σου, γεννηθήτω το θέλημά σου ως εν ουρανό και επί της γης, τον άρτον ημών τον επί ουσιον δώσιμην σήμερον, και άφησιμην τα οφελήματα ημών, ως και εμείς σαφίεμεν τις οφελέτες ημών, και μη συνέγγιση μα ει πειρασμό, αλλά ρίσε μα από το πονηρού. Ότι σου έστει η βασιλεία και η δύναμη και η δόξα του πατρό και του ιού και του αγίου πνεύματο, νυν και αή, και ει του αιώνα των αιώνων. Αμήν. Save, O Lord, thy people and bless thine inheritance. Grant thou unto the faithful victory over adversaries, and by the power of thy cross do thou preserve thy commonwealth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, O thou who was lifted up willingly on the cross. Bestow thy mercies upon the new nation called after thee, Christ God. Gladden with thy power our faithful rulers, granting them victory over all barbarians. May they have as thy help in war the weapon of peace, the trophy invincible, both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O dread protection that cannot be put to shame, disdain not, O good one, our entreaties, O all him, Theotokos. Make steadfast the commonwealth of the Orthodox. Protect those whom thou hast enjoined to rule over us. And grant them victory from on high, for thou hast given birth to God, O only blessed one. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great mercy. We pray to you, hear us and have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again we pray for all pious and orthodox Christians. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again we pray for our Archbishop Epilophoros and for all our brotherhood in Christ. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. For you are a merciful God who loves mankind and you we give glory to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. In the name of the Lord, Father, bless. Glory to the holy, consubstantial, life-giving and undivided Trinity, always, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace, goodwill among men. Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace, goodwill among men. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill among men. O Lord, thou shalt open my lips, and my mouth shall declare thy praise. O Lord, thou shalt open my lips, and my mouth shall declare thy praise. O Lord, why are they multiplied that afflict me? Many rise up against me. Many say unto my soul, there is no salvation for him and his God. But thou, O Lord, art my helper, my glory, and the lifter up of my head. I cried unto the Lord with my voice, and he heard me out of his holy mountain. I laid me down and slept. I awoke, for the Lord will help me. I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people that set themselves against me round about. Arise, O Lord, save me, O my God, for thou hast smitten all who without cause are mine enemies. The teeth of sinners hast thou broken. Salvation is of the Lord, and thy blessing is upon thy people. I laid me down and slept. I awoke, for the Lord will help me. O Lord, rebuke me not in thine anger, nor chasten me in thy wrath, for thine arrows are fastened in me, and thou hast laid thy hand heavily upon me. There is no healing in my flesh in the face of thy wrath, and there is no peace in my bones in the face of my sins. For mine iniquities are risen higher than my head. As a heavy burden have they pressed heavily upon me. My bruises are become noisome and corrupt in the face of my folly. I have been wretched and utterly bowed down until the end. All the day long I went with downcast face. For my loins are filled with mockings, and there is no healing in my flesh. I am afflicted and humbled exceedingly. I have roared from the groaning of my heart. O Lord, before thee is all my desire, and my groaning is not hid from thee. My heart is troubled, my strength hath failed me, and the light of mine eyes, even this is not with me. 
My friends and my neighbors drew nigh over against me and stood, and my nearest of kin stood afar off. And they that sought after my soul used violence, and they that sought evils for me spake vain things, and craftiness all the day long did they meditate. But as for me, like a deaf man, I heard them not, and was as a speechless man that openeth not his mouth. And I became as a man that heareth not, and that hath in his mouth no reproofs. For in thee have I hoped, O Lord. Thou wilt hearken unto me, O Lord my God. For I said, Let never mine enemies rejoice over me. Yea, when my feet were shaken, those men spake boastful words against me. For I am ready for scourges, and my sorrows continually before me. For I will declare mine iniquity, and I will take heed concerning my sin. But mine enemies live and are made stronger than I, and they that hated me unjustly are multiplied. They that render me evil for good slandered me because I pursued goodness. Forsake me not, O Lord my God, depart not from me. Be attentive unto my help, O Lord of my salvation. Forsake me not, O Lord my God, depart not from me. Be attentive unto my help, O Lord of my salvation. O God, my God, unto thee I rise early at dawn. My soul hath thirsted for thee. How often hath my flesh longed after thee in a land barren and untrodden and unwatered. So in the sanctuary have I appeared before thee to see thy power and thy glory. For thy mercy is better than lives. My lips shall praise thee, so shall I bless thee in my life, and in thy name will I lift up my hands. As with marrow and fatness let my soul be filled, and with lips of rejoicing shall my mouth praise thee. If I remembered thee on my bed, at the dawn I meditated on thee, for thou art become my helper, in the shelter of thy wings will I rejoice. My soul hath cleaved after thee, thy right hand hath been quick to help me. But as for these in vain, have they sought after my soul, they shall go into the nethermost parts of the earth. They shall be surrendered unto the edge of the sword. Portions for foxes shall they be. But the king shall be glad in God. Everyone shall be praised that sweareth by him. For the mouth of them is stopped that speak unjust things. At the dawn I meditated on thee, for thou art become my helper. In the shelter of thy wings will I rejoice. My soul hath cleaved after thee. Thy right hand hath been quick to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Lord God of my salvation, by day have I cried, and by night before thee. Let my prayer come before thee. Bow down thine ear unto my supplication. For filled with evils is my soul, and my life unto Hades that draw nigh. I am counted with them that go down into the pit. I am become as a man without help, free among the dead, like the bodies of the slain that sleep in the grave, whom thou rememberest no more, and they are cut off from thy hand. They laid me in the lowest pit, in darkness, and in the shadow of death. Against me is thine anger made strong, and all thy billows hast thou brought upon me. Thou hast removed my friends afar from me. They have made me an abomination unto themselves. I have been delivered up, and have not come forth. Mine eyes are grown weak from poverty. I have cried unto thee, O Lord, the whole day long. I have stretched out my hands unto thee. Nay, for the dead wilt thou work wonders, or shall physicians raise them up that they may give thanks unto thee? Nay, shall any in the grave tell of thy mercy and of thy truth in that destruction? Nay, shall thy wonders be known in that darkness and thy righteousness in that land that is forgotten? But as for me, unto thee, O Lord, have I cried, and in the morning shall my prayer come before thee. Wherefore, O Lord, dost thou cast off my soul and turnest thy face away from me? A poor man am I, and in troubles from my youth. Yea, having been exalted, I was humbled and brought to distress. Thy furies have passed upon me, and thy terrors have surely troubled me. They came round about me like water. All the day long they compassed me about together. Thou hast removed afar from me, friend and neighbor, and mine acquaintances, because of my misery. O Lord God of my salvation, by day have I cried, and by night before thee. Let my prayer come before thee. Bow down thine ear unto my supplication. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all that he hath done for thee, who is gracious unto all thine iniquities, who healeth all thine infirmities, who redeemeth thy life from corruption, who crowneth thee with mercy and compassion, who fulfilleth thy desire with good things. Thy youth shall be renewed as the eagles. The Lord performeth deeds of mercy and executeth judgment for all them that are wronged. He hath made his ways known unto Moses, unto the sons of Israel, the things that he hath willed. Compassionate and merciful is the Lord, long-suffering and plenteous in mercy. Not unto the end will he be angered, neither unto eternity will he be wroth. Not according to our iniquities hath he dealt with us, neither according to our sins hath he rewarded us. For according to the height of heaven from the earth, the Lord hath made his mercy to prevail over them that fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far hath he removed our iniquities from us. 
Like as a father hath compassion upon his son, so hath the Lord had compassion upon them that fear him. For he knoweth whereof we are made, he hath remembered that we are dust. As for man, his days are as the grass, as a flower of the field, so shall he blossom forth. For when the wind is passed over it, then it shall be gone, and no longer will it know the place thereof. But the mercy of the Lord is from eternity, even unto eternity, upon them that fear him. And his righteousness is upon sons of sons, upon them that keep his testament, and remember his commandments to do them. The Lord in heaven hath prepared his throne, and his kingdom ruleth over all. Bless the Lord, all you his angels, mighty in strength, that perform his word, to hear the voice of his words. Bless the Lord, all ye his hosts, his ministers, that do his will. Bless the Lord, all ye his works, in every place of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. In every place of his dominion, bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, hear my prayer. Give ear unto my supplication in thy truth. Hearken unto me in thy righteousness. And enter not into judgment with thy servant. For in thy sight shall no man living be justified. For the enemy hath persecuted my soul. He hath humbled my life down to the earth. He hath sat me in darkness as those that have been long dead, and my spirit within me is become despondent. Within me my heart is troubled. I remember days of old. I meditated on all thy works. I pondered on the creations of thy hands. I stretched forth my hands unto thee. My soul thirsteth after thee like a waterless land. Quickly hear me, O Lord, my spirit hath fainted away. Turn not thy face away from me, lest I be like unto them that go down into the pit. Cause me to hear thy mercy in the morning, for in thee have I put my hope. Cause me to know, O Lord, the way wherein I should walk, for unto thee have I lifted up my soul. Rescue me from mine enemies, O Lord, unto thee have I fled for refuge. Teach me to do thy will, for thou art my God. Thy good spirit shall lead me in the land of uprightness. For thy name's sake, O Lord, shalt thou quicken me. And in thy righteousness shalt thou bring my soul out of affliction. And in thy mercy shalt thou utterly destroy mine enemies. And thou shalt cut off all them that afflict my soul, for I am thy servant. Hearken unto me, O Lord, in thy righteousness, and enter not into judgment with thy servant. Hearken unto me, O Lord, in thy righteousness, and enter not into judgment with thy servant. Thy good spirit shall lead me in the land of uprightness. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Εν ειρήνη του Κυρίου Δεϊθόμεν, Κύριε Λαϊσού, υπέρ της άνωθεν ειρήνης και της σωτηρίας των ψυχών ημών, του Κυρίου Δεϊθόμεν, Κύριε Λαϊσού, υπέρ της ειρήνης του σύμπαντος κόσμου, ευσταθίας των Αγίων του Θεού Εκκλησιών και της των πάντων ενός αιώς του Κυρίου Δεϊθόμεν, Κύριε Λαϊσού, for this holy house and for those who enter with faith, reverence in the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our Archbishop Elpidophoros, the venerable priesthood, for the diaconate in Christ, for all the clergy and the laity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the President of our country, for those in civil authority, for our armed forces and for all the American nation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Υπέρ της πόλεως ταύτης, πάσης πόλεως χώρας και των πίστηκων των εναυτές, Κυρίου Δεϊθόμεν, Κύριε Λαϊσού, υπέρ εγκρασίας αέρων εφορίας των καρπών της γης και καιρών ειρηνικών, Κυρίου Δεϊθόμεν, Κύριε Λαϊσού, υπέρ πλεόν των οδηπορούν των υπδαμένων, νοστούν των καμνών των εκμαλώτων, και τη σωτηρία αυτών του κυρίου Δεϊθόμεν. Κύριε Λέισο. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord of mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by your grace. Lord of mercy. Commemorating our most holy, pure, most blessed, and glorious Lady, Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves in one another and all our life to Christ our God. To thee, O Lord. For to you belong all glory, honor, and worship to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Theos, Kyrios, Kepephananimin, Evlogimanos, Oerchomenos, En Onomati Kyrios. Εξομολογήστε το Κυρίο ότι αγαθώ σωτής τον αιώνα το έλεος αυτού 
Θεός Κύριος και επέφανε νημήν ευλογημένος ο εργομένος εν ονόματι Κυρίου. All the nations are surrounded me, but by the name of the Lord have I warded them off. The Lord is God and hath appeared unto us. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Μωρά Κυρίου γένε το αυτή γέστη θαυμαστή εν οφθαμίσιμον. Θεός Κύριος και επέφανεν ημίν, ευλογημένος ο εργομένος εν ονόματι Κυρίου. Του λήθους φραγιστάντος υπό τον Ιωδαίον και στρατιό των φιλασσόνων, το άχραντον σου σώμα, ανέστης τριήμερος σωτήρ, δωρούμενος το κόσμο την ζωήν. Δια τούτο εδυνάμεις των ουρανών ευών, σιζόδωτα, δόξα τη Αναστάση σου Χριστέ, Δόξα τη βασιλεία σου, δόξα τη οικονομία σου, μόνε φιλάνθρωπε. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. We worship thine immaculate icon, O good one, asking the forgiveness of our failings, O Christ our God. For of thine own will thou wast well pleased to ascend the cross in the flesh, that thou mightest deliver from slavery. To the enemy, those whom thou hadst fashioned. Wherefore we cry to thee thankfully, thou didst fill all things with joy, O our Savior, when thou camest to save the world. In inke ai kis tu seo nas tone ona na min panda i pereni an panda i peren luxata sa theo to ke mistiri ati agni as fragis meni ke parteni a filato meni. Μη τη ρεγνώση σάψε δις θεόν δε κουσαλήθην ον Ατώνη και τε βεσοθήνε τος ψυχάς ημών. Έτη και έτη εν ειρήνη του Κυρίου δε ηθόμεν. Κύριε Λαϊσόν. Αντιλαβούς όσον ελέησον και διαφύλαξον ημάς ο Θεός της ηχάρητη. Κύριε Λαϊσόν. Της Παναγίας Αχράντου υπερευλογημένης εν δόξου. Δεσποινής ημών Θεοτόκου και αη Παρθένου Μαρίας. Με τα πάντων των Αγίων μνημονεύσαντε σε αυτού και αλλήλου και πάσα την ζωή νημών. Χριστό το Θεό παραθόμεθα. Τι κύριε. Ότι σ' το κράτο και σου αστη βασιλεία και η δύναμη και η δόξα του πατρό και του ιού και του αγίου πνεύματο νυν και αή. Και ει του αιώνα των αιώνων. Αμήν των τόφων σου σωτήρ στρατιώτε τηρούντε νεκρή τη αστραπή του οφθάντο αγγέλου. Αγένουν το κυρί των τόζιν εξή την ανάσταση. Σε δοξάζομεν των τη φθορά καθερέτην εσύ προσπίπτωμεν. Το αναστάντη εκ τάφου και μόνο Θεό ημών. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, O Lord of mercy, nail to the cross of thine own will, as mortal thou wast laid in a tomb, O life giver, destroying the reign of death by thy death, O omnipotent. Thou didst smite the gatekeepers of Hades with terror, raising with thyself them that had died from all ages, since thou alone art the friend of man. Και νυν και αι και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων να μην μητέρα του Θεού, επιστάμεθα πάντες παρθένων αληθώς, και μετά το κονφανίσαν υπόθω κατά φεύγοντες, προς την συναγαθότητα σε γαρέχομεν αμαρτωλή προστασίαν, τα εκεκτή μεθά εν πειρασμή σωτηρίαν την μόνην Πανάμωμον. The faithful women came to the tomb before the dawning, and seeing the vision of angels, they stood in fear and trembling. Like lightning the grave flashed forth with life, the marvel made the women sore amazed. Thus they went to the disciples and preached to them the rising of Christ the Master. Christ the Almighty plundered eighty spoils and raised with himself all corrupt in death, freeing them from fear of condemnation by the power of the cross. <laughs> Δια τούτο εδυνάμεις των ουρανών ευών σιζόδωταν, 
But now and ever and unto the ages of ages, Amen. O Thou who art our Master's most honorable vessel, O Mary, raise us up who have stumbled and fallen into a deep gulf of sins, tribulations, and dire despair. For, O full of grace, Thou ever savest Thy servants as the strong protection and salvation of sinners and unfailing help of all. Blessed art thou, Lord, teach me thy statutes. Why do ye mingle myrrh with tears of compassion, O ye women disciples? The radiant angel in the grave addressed the myrrh-bearing women. Behold the grave and exult, for the Savior hath arisen from the sepulchre. Blessed art thou, Lord, teach me thy statutes. The myrrh-bearing women came with myrrh unto thy tomb, O Savior. And they heard an angel saying unto them, Why do ye count the living among the dead? For as God he is risen from the sepulchre. Well, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages, amen, by giving birth to the giver of life, O Virgin, thou didst rescue Adam from sin, and thou didst grant deep joy instead of sorrow, for the God and man who was incarnate of thee, Guided back to life, him that had fallen away therefrom. Alleluia, 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 glory to the Lord. Alleluia, 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 glory to Thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to the Lord. Lord have mercy, help us. Lord have mercy. Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. O Lord. For your name is blessed and your kingdom is glorified of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. I mean, the repentance of the thief hath plundered paradise, and the lamentation of the myrrh bearers hath proclaimed joy. For thou art risen, O Christ God, granting great mercy unto the world. O nonnes, and doth live as thy may, sacus on muton odino, and kiri as igrazo. In mine affliction hearken unto my sorrows, O Lord, I cry unto thee. He said, in me kiss, apostos of thee, as both of singing at the cosmos, it to matter, work to. For those in the desert, divine longing becometh an ending, in that they are outside the vain world. But now and 
ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. To the Holy Spirit, honor and glory is due, even as it is unto the Father, and so also to the Son. Wherefore, let us sing unto the threefold monarchy. Thou hast raised me to the summits of thy laws. Make me radiant with the virtues, O God, that I may hymn thee. Istori ton son ipsos as menomo, en aretes e grambrinon, o theos in a imnose. Taking me by thy right hand, O word, keep and preserve me, lest the fire of sin scorch me. Dexia su hiri la von siloge, filax on me fru. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. By the Holy Spirit all creation is renewed, returning again to the primordial state. For He is equal in power to the Father and the Word. Ken in ke ai ke is tu se onas ton ne onan nami na hi opnevmati pasa ikdisis ke nurite panindromusa is to proton. Isos de nes gar, patrike logo, epitis iri kosimi odevso menis ta savlas tu kiri oi frantim oto pnevma sinheri kardia. Because of them that said unto me, let us go into the courts of the Lord, my spirit was glad and my heart also rejoices. Epi kon David fovos mega eseki gar thron, on nekte thando en krithis on de apa. In the house of David is great fear, for there when the thrones are set forth, all the tongues and tribes of the earth shall be judged. <laughs> Monos gares tin nitria esti fisi alu prosopi. O now and ever and unto the ages of ages, amen. To the Holy Spirit must honor, worship, glory, and dominion be offered, as is meet both to the Father and the Son. For the Trinity is a unity in nature, but not in person. In anastis o melai kirio, istis o men sotirio, parisio, so men afto. Now will I arise, saith the Lord, I will establish them in salvation, I will be manifest therein. Da loichia kirio, loichia gna, arhirio, en pepiro menon, Nina nasti somelegi kirios, ti somen sotirion. Parisia somen afto. Anones. Tu i trope uchus dexio i theo preposenis ki i de doxas te. Afti gara thana te os pansenis i penandius e trafse. This is Raeli, this is Odon, with one can or he is our son. Glory to thy holy resurrection, O Lord. You in the beginning, being God, with your immaculate hands, fashioned me from dust. Later you stretched out your hands when you were crucified and then called back from earth. Oxati aikia nastasi su kiria nekrosini pesti die me ketim sihin to thanatu prodidosi no emnesi thia psihin en theis kelisa se oni on desmoen kisin nastisas tis aftarsia de do exaste. Most holy Theotokos save us, we salute you fountainhead of grace, rejoice O heavenly ladder and gate rejoice. Lampstand and the golden jar rejoice, O mountain that was quarried, not rejoice. For the world you gave, you gave birth to Christ, who is the giver of life. Doxa si o Theo, Simon, doxa si o ye faithful, as we leap for joy today, let us cry aloud. How wondrous are thy works, O Christ, and great is thy might, O thou hast brought our unity and concord. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. Come, let us celebrate a day of joy, O ye godly-minded ones. Now do heaven and earth rejoice, and the ranks of angels. And the assembly of mortals preeminently celebrate. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. Come, let us celebrate a day of joy, O ye godly-minded ones. Now do heaven and the earth rejoice, and the ranks of angels 
and the assemblies of mortals preeminently celebrate. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. Let us clap our hands beholding this great benefaction. How those members that were separated from Christ are brought to unification. And let us praise God, who is the Prince of Peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Today there have been given unto the church the prizes of victory by the God-inspired decree. And will of our rulers Michael and Theodora, who have piously kept the faith. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages, amen. The swords of the impious heresies have manifestly taken to flight. For as we behold thy temple adorned with icons most piously, O all pure and modest one, we now rejoice in a supremely sacred manner. Glory to thy holy resurrection, O Lord, benevolent Lord, you are my God, who pitied me, the fallen one, and in your good pleasure you came down to me. Through crucifixion you have exalted me to cry out that holy are you, O Lord of glory, and unparalleled in your benevolence. <laughs> Most holy Theotokos, save us, O Virgin, you remained unconsumed, conceiving God within your womb, by the all-holy spirits overshadowing, to Prophet Moses, the giver of the law, the unconsumed burning bush that he saw foreshadowed you, who would receive in yourself the unbearable fire. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. Now no longer is the gaze of the impious heretics filled with haughtiness, for the might of God has strengthened orthodoxy. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. Now no longer is the gaze of the impious heretics filled with haughtiness, for the might of God hath strengthened orthodoxy. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. According to the words of the prophet, the clouds on this day sprinkle life creating dew from heaven upon us because of the raising up of our faith. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. Let the mystical trumpets of the apostles of Christ most clearly and mystically herald forth the restoration of the august icon. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Let us praise Christ, who has shone forth unto us, our God-fearing and Christ-loving Queen, together with her God-crowned Scion. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages, amen, having gained possession of thy sacred tabernacle, O all pure one, we the faithful now pray that we may be illumined by thy radiant grace. As God that is to rise from the tomb in glory, and that is raise the world together with thyself, and mortal nature praise thee as God, and death was obliterated. And Adam danceth for joy, O Master, and Eve now freed from fetters rejoices as she crieth out, Thou, O Christ, is grand resurrection unto all. Grand resurrection unto all. Let us praise this God omnipotent, him that arose on the third day, who brake the gates of Hades and raised from the grave them that were dead from ages past, and who of his own good pleasure appeared to the mirror-bearing women, giving them first the greeting, Rejoice, and announcing joy to the apostles as the only giver of life. Wherefore, with faith, the women proclaimed the dis to the disciples the glad tidings of the symbols of victory, and Hades groaneth, and death lamenteth, and the world is joyful. And all men rejoice together, for thou, O Christ, is granted resurrection unto all. Grant resurrection unto all. Depicting thy divine form and icons, O Savior, we blaze in thy nativity loudly and clearly. Thy wonders ineffable, and thy willing death on the cross. 
Hence in fear the demons are chased off in confusion and the misbelievers mourn in grief and dejection as being their fellow heirs. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, the images of prophets, the forms of the apostles, the sacred martyrs, icons, and all saints together. Now sacredly ornament Mother Zion that is on high. And she is adorned with a noetic resplendence of the holy bridegroom and the bride in the spirit in sacred magnificence. Both now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen, O holy virgin, for all who honor with longing thy holy icon faithfully showing thee reverence, proclaiming thee as true mother of God now with one accord. Be their guardian and their most mighty protection, driving far away every affliction and hardship, since thou canst do all thou wilt. The indepictable word of the Father became depictable when he took flesh of thee, O Theotokos, and when he had restored the defiled image to its ancient state, he suffused it with divine beauty. As for us, confessing our salvation, we record it in deed and word. We record it in deed and word. Of all the divinely inspired prophets aforetime, proclaim this mystery of the dispensation for us who have attained to its illumination and who are come to the end of the ages. Wherefore, receiving divine knowledge therefrom, we know God to be one Lord, glorified in three hypostases, and offering adoration unto him alone. In having one faith and one baptism, we are clothed with Christ. But confessing our salvation, we record it in deed and word. We record it in deed and word. On the 24th of this month, we celebrate the four feast of the Annunciation of the Most Holy Theotokos, and we commemorate our righteous father, Artemon, Bishop of Seleucia in Pisidia. Artemon casteth off the flesh like a blanket, and having nothing of earth is sent to heaven. On the 24th, Eden welcomed Artemon. On this day, we commemorate the holy horror martyr Artemon, presbyter of Laodicea. From the world departed and to God approaching, I am thine, save me, Artemon now exclaimeth. On this day, our righteous father Zacharias reposed in peace. Having become like God as much as man is able, leave earth and be the son of God's joint heir, O father. On this day, the holy eight martyrs were perfected in martyrdom by the sword in Caesarea of Palestine. A phalanx of eight martyrs have been behead, hath been beheaded for the Lord who received eighth-day circumcision. On this day, our righteous father Martin of Thebes reposed in peace. Nurtured right well to a good old age, O Martin, die and be added to the departed fathers. On this day, the holy new hire martyrs, Parthenius, patriarch of Constantinople, received a martyric death by hanging in Constantinople in the year 1657. For Parthenius, a twofold crown is woven, even as for a priest and for the Lord's athlete. On this day, we commemorate our righteous fathers, Zacharias the Hospitable and Zacharias the Faster of the Kiev Caves. On this day, we commemorate the holy martyrs Stephen and Peter, who were martyred in Kazan. On this day, the first Sunday of the fast, we commemorate the restoration of the holy and august icons, which came to pass through the ever-memorable sovereigns of Constantinople, Michael and his mother Theodora, during the patriarchate of the holy confessor Methodius. The unbefittingly banished icons, I rejoice to see befittingly worship. O identical image of the Father, by the intercessions of thy holy confessors, have mercy on us. Amen. Laetus thalaisis, to Erythreon Pelagos of Rochis Ignesi, O Paleos Pesas Israel, Stavroti Posmos Oscarsi, to Amalictin the Naminak the Erimo Etroposato. Thy Church of Christ rejoiceth in thee. Thee, crying unto thee, Thou, O Lord, art my strength, my stay, and my refuge. When the church saw 
of the elevated on the cross. O Son of Justice, she stood in her array, shouting to thee as is meet, Glory to thy power, O Lord. <laughs> The church I let thee, O Lord, crying, I will sacrifice to thee with the voice of praise, purified from the vileness of Satan, by the blood which dripped from thy side because of thy compassion. And the Camino of Ramia, I passed the Persiki, Poito, Sevia, Small, and Eti Floyim, Pirpolu, and Niagara of Gazor, Evloyim, I know, see, and don't know what is a dog, see, We praise, we bless, and we worship the Lord. When Daniel stretched his hands in the pit, he closed the mouths of the devouring lions and the youths, lovers of true worship, when they girded themselves with virtue, quenched the power of fire crying, Bless the Lord, all ye his words. Let us pray to the Lord. For you are God, our holy, and to you, and you rest among the holy ones, and to you we offer a glory to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. That we may be found worthy to hear the Holy Gospel. Let us entreat the Lord our God. Wisdom arise, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be to all. And to thy spirit. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to John. Let us be attentive. Glory to thee, O Lord. Glory to thee. On the evening of that day, the first day of the week, the doors being shut where the disciples were for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood among them and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. Then the disciples were glad when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, even so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven. If you retain the sins of any, they are retained. Now Thomas, one of the twelve, called the twin, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples told him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see in his hands the print of the nails, and place my finger in the mark of the nails, and place my hand in his side, I will not believe. Eight days later, his disciples were again in the house, and Thomas was with them. The doors were shut, but Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands, and put out your hand and place it at my side. Do not be faithless, but believing. Thomas answered him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Have you believed because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and yet believe. Now Jesus did many other signs in the presence of the disciples, which are not written in this book, but these are written that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that believing you may have life in his name. Glory to 
thee, O Lord, glory to thee. Let us who have beheld the resurrection of Christ worship our holy Lord Jesus, who is alone without sin. We worship thy cross, O Christ, and we praise and glorify thy resurrection. For thou art our God, and we know none other beside thee, and we call upon thy name. Come, all ye faithful, let us worship Christ's holy resurrection. For behold, through the cross, joy hath come to the whole world. Forever blessing the Lord, we praise his resurrection. He endured the cross for us, and by death destroyed death. Ελεήμον ελεήσον με ο Θεός, κατά το μεγαλαιό σου, και κατά το πλήθος των ικτήρεμων σου, εξάλειψον το ανομιμά μου. Επιπλήον πλήνον με από τις ανομίας μου, και από τις αμαρτίας μου καθαρισόν με. Ότι την ανομία μου εγώ γινώσκω, και η αμαρτία μου όποιον μου εστί, δια παντός. Ή μόνο η μάρτων και το πονηρόν εν όποιον σου επίσα, όπως αν δικαιωθείς εν της λόγης σου, και νικήσεις εν το Εδώ εγάρ ανανομία συνελήφθην και αναμαρτία σε κύση σε με ημί τυρμό. Μη δω γάρ αλήθεια ανηγάπη σα στα δίλα και τα κρύφια τη οποία σου εδηλωσά μη. Ραντή με ισόπο και καθαριστήσω με πληνίσμε και υπέρχειο να λευκανθήσω με. Ακουτή μη αγαλία συν και αφροσύνη να γαλιάσουν δέο στέα τε ταπεινωμένα. Απόστρεψο το πρόσωπον σου από τον αμαρτιόν μου και πάσα στα σανομίες μου εξάλειψον. Παρδίαν καθαράν κτίσουν εν ημί ο Θεός και πνεύμα ευθές την γέννησον εν της εγκάτης μου. Μη απορρίψεις με από το προσώπου σου και το πνεύμα σου του Άγιον μη αντανέλεις. Απέ μου, απόδος μη την αγαλία συν του σωτήριου σου και πνεύμα τη γημονικό στηρίξον με. Υπάξω εν όμως το σωτού σου και ασεβείς επί σε επιστρέψουσι. Βρίσι με εξαιμάτων ο Θεός, ο Θεός της σωτηρίας μου. Αγαλιάσετε η γλώσσα μου την δικαιοσύνη σου. My Lord, I am Yeah. 
defiled my soul with shameful sins, having wasted my whole life in slothfulness. By thine intercessions, deliver me from all impurity. Elohim on Elohim, O Theos, Gadato Mega Eleoson, Gadato Blitos Tonic Dinemon, so I'm so Ipson to unknown me. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Amen. Look upon your world with mercy and compassion. Amen. Raise the Orthodox Christians in glory and send down upon us your abundant mercies. Amen. Through the intercessions of our pure, pure Lady the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, by the power of the precious and life giving cross, the protection of the honorable heavenly bodies powers, the supplications of the honorable glorious prophet Forner John the Baptist of the holy, glorious, and praise with the apostles of our fathers among the saints, great hierarchs and ecumenical teachers, Basil the Great, Gregory the Theologian, and John Chrysostom, Athanasius and Cyril, John the Merciful, Patriarchs of Alexandria, Nicholas of Myra, Spirit, and of the Methus, and Nectarius of Pentapolis, the Wonder Workers, of the holy, glorious, great martyrs, George Triumphant, Demetrius the Merce, Dreaming, Theodore of Tiron, Theodore the General, Minas the Wonder Worker, Eleftherios and Haralamos, the holy martyrs, holy priest martyrs of the holy, glorious, and victorious martyrs, of the glorious, great martyr, and all laudable Femia, of the holy, glorious martyrs, Thecla, Barbara, Anastasia, Catherine, Kiriaki, Potini, Marina, Paraskevi, and Irene, of our venerable and God-bearing fathers, of the holy and righteous ancestors of the Lord, Joachim and Anna, of the righteous Artimon, of our Holy Father, Theonas, Bishop of Thessaloniki, and Zacharias, the recluse, and of all the saints whose memory keep this day, we beseech you, the only most merciful Lord, listen to us sinners who pray to you, and have mercy on us. <laughs> Through the mercy and compassion and love for mankind of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. In Theotoko ke mitera tu fotos en imnis timondes megalinome. Megalin ipsihimo ton kirion ke gali aseto pneuf mamo epi to Theotos odirimo. Tin dimi oteron ton keruvim ke endoxoteron asingri tos ton serafim. 
Την αδία φθόρο σε ολόγων τε κούσαν, την όντω σε οτόκων σε μεγαλύνωμεν. For he had looked upon the lowliness of his handmaiden, for behold, from henceforth all generations shall call me blessed, more honorable than the cherubim, and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim. He without corruption gave his birth to God the Logos, the very Theotokos, the Dewey Magnifies. Ότι επίσε μη μεγαλείο δυνατό εις και άγιον το όνομα ευτού εν και το ένεον σ' αυτού εις γενναιάν και γενναιάν εις φοβουμένης αυτού εν την τιμή ο τέραν των χερουβείμ και εν δόξο τέραν ασυγρήτως των σεραφείμ την αδία φθόρος θεών λόγων τε κούσαν την όντως θεό τόκων σε μεγαλύνωμεν. He has shown strength with his arm, he has scattered the proud in the imagination of their heart, more honorable than the cherubim, and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim. He without corruption gave his birth to God the Logos, the very Theotokos, the Dewey Magnifies. Καθήλα δυνάζες από θρόνον και η ύψος εν ταπεινούς, πεινώντας εν έπλης εν αγαθών, και πλωτούντας εξ απέστηλε καινούς την τιμή ο τέραν των χερουβείμ, και εν δόξο τέρα εν ασυγρήτως των σεραφείμ, την αδία φθόρος θεών λόγων τε κούσαν, την όντως θεό τόκων σε μεγαλύνωμεν. He has opened his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy, as he spake to our fathers, to Abraham and to his seed forever, more honorable than the cherubim, and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim. He without corruption gave his birth to God the Logos, the very Theotokos, the Dewey Magnifies. The Ipon, the Zagnis, Lachia, so Pir Polo, many vatos, edicts and afflictos, Kerin, Kathimon, ton Piras, Monagrianus, on Katas Vesetum, and in Kaminon, in us, Theotokem, Akatabas, to Megalin, O man. Glory to thy holy resurrection, O Lord, O how could those disobedient and Awful people take evil counsel and decide to release a man who was a barbarous criminal and condemned to a cross. Christ the righteous one, he is the Lord of glory, and we now magnify him worthily. Σε δοξάζομεν τον Αναστάντο τριήμερον Συν Πατρή και τον Θείο Σου Πνεύματι Και Κύριον της δόξης Θεολόγων της Μεγαλύνωμεν Most Holy Theotokos, save us, save, O Lord, your people That with your most precious blood you purchased And give our governments the might to defend us from all enemies In your love for humanity, grant unanimity and peace to all your churches at the entreaties of the Mother of God. Voxasi, O Theos, Simon Voxasi, as we behold the August Church again adorned with the sacred portrayals of the icons, let us all hasten and cry unto Christ with reverence. We magnify the O Thrice Holy One. Glory to Thee, our God, glory to Thee, possessing Thy cross and the venerable icons and depictions of the saints as rewards and honors. The Church doth magnify Thee, O Master, with joy and gladness of all. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. By Thy divine glory, make radiant our hierarchs, O compassionate one, and fortify them by Thine angelic arrays and armor, and subject unto them the haughtiness of the heathen, O Master. Now and ever, and unto the ages of ages, Amen, the condemnation of the first mother Eve hath been taken away of Theotokos. 
or in a manner surpassing our understanding. Thou, O pure one, didst give birth unto the master of all, whose likeness we now kiss in the icon. <laughs> Agronie os et miti Christos, sin absas das dies dos as fisis, dio e pangelo meni, sae o doi ke me galinum. Etiketin irini tu kiriu deitho me Anilavus oson eleison ki dia filaxon imas o Theos ti sicharity Ispanagia sacrano perevlo imenis en doxu despinisimon Theo toko ke i parceno Marias Meta pandon ton oimo merevsande se aftus kalilus ke pasan tin zoin imon Christo to Theo, parathometha, Kyrie, Otis enusi pasen dinamis ton uranon, ke sitin doxan apembusi, to patrik tu iog dio pneumati nin ke ai, ke istus eonas ton eono. Amin, only is the Lord our God. Nai Dios Kyrios o Theos imo. Only is the Lord our God, exalt ye the Lord our God, and worship at the footstool of his feet. For he is holy. When thou hadst entered a while, thy doors were shut fast, thou, O Master, didst fill thine apostolic war with the all Holy Spirit, and having breathed peace upon them, thou verily didst tell them to bind and lose the sins of man, and the eighth day thereafter thy wounded side, and thy hands is thou display unto Thomas, with whom we cry, Our Lord and God, art thou, O Sovereign Master. Seek for joy and clap your hands with gladness, raise your voice in song, and cry how strange and how wondrous are all thy works, O Christ Savior, and who has strength to tell in full the mighty deeds that thou hast wrought, who has achieved our unity, our full agreement and concord, blended in one in thy one church. The swords of hostile heresy have failed and vanished utterly. Remembrance of them hath perished with a great din and resounding. For as we now behold again, O all pure virgin, blessed of God, thy temple beautifully adorned, and graced with venerable icons. We all are filled with great gladness. Anonis, pos ab noien, saudoton kiri, and it don't get it, I don't know. And it don't get
The sacred restoration of the holy on a conscious holy day. And with joy she doth glorify, praising him thee with ardent faith. Arise, O Lord my God, let thy hand be lifted high. Forget not thy paupers until the end, as we now restore the image of thy flesh to its place again, offering relative reverence. O Lord, we make manifest the most mighty mystery of thy dispensation, for thou didst not in fancy and mere thought appear as man. And he's got opposing sons say, but in nature of the flesh and very truth I was seen on earth, by which mystery, O friend of man, we are led up unto thy love. I will confess thee, O Lord, with my whole heart, I will tell of all thy wonders. Lo, a day of gladness and joy of heart hath appeared today, for there flasheth forth lightning like the bright shining radiance of the truest dawn. Doctrines. Now the Church of Christ weareth as her fairest ornament the holy icons restored unto their place, and splendors of fair images of Christ, his mother, and all the saints. And the God-given unity is bestowed on all faithful souls. <laughs> Θανάτωτε και ημίσε ζωπή θυμέν. 
Διό ανύμνον δεσπόμεν ευλογητός Χριστός ο Θεός ημών, ο ούτος ευδοκίστας δόξασή.
For this cathedral and the city, for every city and town, and for the faithful who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For faithful weather and abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for temperate seasons, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For travelers by land, sea, and air, for the sick, the suffering, the captives, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and distress, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Come on, girl, most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious lady, the Theotokos, near Virgin Mary, with all the saints that has commit ourselves and one another, in our whole life, to Christ our God. To you. For unto you belong all glory, honor, and worship, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. For he has established this world which shall not be moved by the intercessions of the Theotokos. In peace, let us again pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, help us, have, <clears throat> help us, save us, have mercy upon us and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Remember, our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, our Virgin Mary, with all the saints that us commit ourselves and one another in our whole life to Christ our God. For yours is the dominion, the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Let them exalt him in the congregation of the people and praise him in the seat of the elders. Epito Eleos Aftu. So 
Φύλαξον ημάς ο Θεός της η χαρητή. Κύριε Λελισσό. Παναγία Σαχράντο υπερευλογημένης εν δόξου εσπινής ημών Θεοτόκου και αϊπαρθένου Μαρίας με τα πάντα των Αγίων μνημονεύσαντε σε αυτούς και αλλήλους και πάσε την ζωή ημών Χριστό το Θεό παραθώ μεθά. Ότι αγαθό και φιλάνθρωπο Θεό υπάρχει και εσύ την δόξα να αναπέμπομεν το πατρί και το ιό και το αγίο πνεύμα την ή και αή και ει του αιώνα των αιώνων. Δεύτερος 
Defender of the poor, physician of the sick, and champion of kings. O trophy bearer, great martyr George, intercede with Christ God that our souls be saved.
let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For you are God, our holy, and to you we offer glory. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever. And to the ages of ages.
Σοφία, Πίστη μου εσύ μέγα γενόμενο, Ιρνίσα το λέγε σε ιό στη γατρό Φαραώ. Μάλλον ελόμενο, Συγκακουχίστε τον λαό του Θεού. Η πρόσκαιρο να έχει να μαρτία από όλα συν. Μίζων απλούτων, Ιγυσάμενο του εν Αιγύπτου θησαυρών των ανδισμών του Χριστού. Απέβλεπε γάρ, η την μισθοποδοσία και τι έτσι λαϊκούν, επιλείψει γάρ και μη διγούμενοι ο χρόνος πενιγεδεών, βαράτε σε Σαμσόν, και αυτέ τα βίαιτε και Σαμουήλ και των προφητών, οι διαπίστεως κατηγονήσαν το βασιλείας, εργάσαν το δικαιοσύνην, επέτυχων επαγγελιών, έφραξαν στόματα λεόντων, Έσβεσαν δύναμη εν πύρος, έφυγον στόματο μαχαίρας, εν ιδραμώστησαν από ασθενείας, εγενήθησαν ισχυροί εν πολέμων, παρεμβολάες έκλειναν αλωτρίων, έλαβον γυναίκας δεξ αναστάσεως τους νεκρούς αυτών. Άλλοι δε εν την πανίστησαν, Προσδεξάμενος, την προσδεξάμενη την απολύτρωσιν, είναι ακρίτων ως αναστάσεως τείχωσιν. Έτι δε εμπεγμόν και μαστίγων πήραν έλαβον, έτι δε δεσμόν και φυλακής, λιθάστησαν, επρίστησαν, επειράστησαν, εν φόνο μαχαίρας απέθανον. Περιήλθον εν μιλωτές εν αγίες δέρμασιν, Ιστερούμενοι, θλιβόμενοι, κακουχούμενοι, ο ούνουκ αϊνάξιος ο κόσμος, εν ερημίες πλανόμενοι και όρεσοι και σπηλαίς και τις οπές της γης, και ούτι πάντες μαρτυρηθέντας διά της πίστεως, που και κομίσοντο των επαγγελίων, του Θεού περίμον κρίτων τη πρόσβλεψαμένων. Είναι μη χωρίσιμον τελειωθών σύ. Blessed are you, O Lord, God of our fathers, for you are righteous in all things you have done for us. Wisdom. The reading is from St. Paul's letter to the Hebrews. Let us be attentive. Brethren, by faith Moses, when he was grown up, refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter, choosing rather to share ill treatment with the people of God than to enjoy the fleeting pleasures of sin. And what more shall I say? For time would fail me to tell of Gideon, Barak, Samson, Jephthah, of David, and Samuel, and the prophets, who through faith conquered kingdoms, enforced justice, received promises, stopped the mouths of lions, quenched raging fire, escaped the edge of the sword, won strength out of weakness, became mighty in war, put foreign enemies to flight. Women received their dead by resurrection. Some were tortured, refusing to accept release that they might rise again to a better life. Others suffered mocking and scourging, and even chains and imprisonment. They were stoned, they were sawn in two, they were killed with the sword. They went about in skins of sheep and goats, destitute, afflicted, ill-treated, who the world was not a worthy 
wandering over deserts and mountains and in dens and caves of the earth and all of these though well attested by their faith did not receive what was promised since God had foreseen something better for us that apart from us they should not be made oh, 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 peace be unto you the reader Wisdom arise, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be unto all. And with your spirit. The reading of the Holy Gospel is according to St. John. Let us be attentive. Glory to At that time, Jesus decided to go to Galilee, and he found Philip and said to him, Follow me. Now Philip was from Beth Bethsheda, the city of Andrew and Peter. Philip found Nathanael, and he said to him, We have found him of whom Moses and the law and also the prophets wrote, Jesus of Nazareth, the son of Joseph. Nathanael said to him, Can anything good come out of Nazareth? Philip said to him, Come and see. Jesus saw Nathanael coming to him and said of him, Behold, an Israelite indeed, in whom is no guilt. Nathanael said to him, How do you know me? Jesus answered him, Before Philip called you when you were under the fig tree, I saw you. Nathanael answered him, Rabbi, you are the Son of God. You are the King of Israel. Jesus answered him, because I say to you, I saw you under the fig tree. Do you believe? You shall see greater things than these. And he said to him, Truly, truly, I say to you, you will see heaven open and the <coughs> angels of God descend and descend upon the Son of Man. Peace be unto you the proclaimer of the gospel. Regarded by your power, we may give you glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages.
May the Lord, our God, remember all of you in his kingdom now and forever until the ages of ages Anonymous, e pandon ton evsevon, e orthodoxon, cristianon, mis di kirios o theos, ani vasilia aftu, pandote, nin ke ai, ke isus theonas, complete our prayer to the Lord. Lord, For the precious gift here presented, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy on Lord. For this holy house and for those who went with faith, reverence in the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord and mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and distress, let us pray to the Lord. Lord and Lord and Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have Lord, have mercy, O Lord. For a perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless day, let us ask of the Lord. an angel of peace, a faithful guide, a garden of our souls and bodies, let us ask of the Lord. For forgiveness and remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask of the Lord. All that is good and beneficial to our souls and for peace in the world, let us ask of the Lord. For the completion of our lives in peace and repentance, let us ask of the Lord. Pray 
Christian and of our lives, peaceful without shame and suffering. And for good account before the awesome judgment seat of Christ, let us ask of the Lord. Remember our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Thel Tolkien's dear Virgin Mary, with all the saints that us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. Through the mercies of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with the all holy, good, and life giving Spirit. Now and always unto the ages of ages. Amen. In a posse, peace be unto all. And with your spirit. Agapi sumen alilus. Let us love one another, that with one mind we may confess. And Sophia Proscomen. Ομοούσιο το πατρί, Ιού τα πάντα γενετό. Το τιμά στου ανθρώπου και διά την μετέρα του σωτηρία. Κατεωθώνται εκ των κρουανών και σα κοθέντε εκ πνεύματο Αγίου και Μαρία τη Παρθένου και ανανθρωπίστατα. Στα προθέντα δε κρυμών επιποντίου πυράκου και παθόντα και τα φέντα. Και αναστάντα την τρίτη ημέρα κατά τα στραφά. Και ανανθρώνται ει του κρουανού. Και Ομολογώ εν βάπτισμα εις άφησαν των μαρτιών, προσδοκώ ανάσταση νεκρών, και ζωή πλέον των αιώνων σας. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten not created, of one essence with the Father, through whom all things were made, who for us and for our salvation came down from the heavens and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and of the Virgin Mary and became man, crucified for us under Pontius Pilate. He suffered and was buried, rising on the third day according to the scriptures and descending into the heavens. He is seated at the right hand of the Father and coming again in glory to judge the living and the dead his kingdom shall have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who spoke of the prophets. In one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I acknowledge one baptism of the remission of sins. I expect the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. Το μεν καλό, το μεν μετά φόβου, πρόσκομε την Αγία να φοράν εν ειν ειν προσφέρειν. Let us stand well, let us stand in all, let us be attentive, that we may present the holy offerings <coughs> in peace. <coughs> Oh, 
Ιχάρις του Κρύου ημών Ιησού Χριστού και αγάπη του Θεού και Πατρός και κοινωνία του Αιού Πνεύματος in μετά πάντων ημών the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Let us lift up our hearts unto the Lord. Let us give thanks unto the Lord. For your praise by the angels and the archangels, the thrones, dominions, principalities, authorities, powers, the many-eyed cherubim round about you, they stand, the seraphim with six wings, the other with six wings, with two they cover their faces, with two they cover their feet, with two they fly, crying aloud to one another with unceasing voices and ever-resounding praises. Singing the victory hymn, proclaiming, shouting out, and saying... You spoke to us through your Son Himself, through whom you created from the ages, He being the splendor of your glory and the image of your of your being, up, upholding all things by the word of His power. Though it though it thought robbery to be equal with you, God the Father, but being God before all the ages, He appeared on the earth and lived with mankind, becoming incarnate of the Holy Virgin Mary, and emptied Himself, taking the form of a servant, conforming to the body of our lowliness, that He might change us in the likeness of the image of his glory. For since through man sin came into the world, and through sin death, it pleased the only begotten Son, who, in, who is in the bosom of God and Father, born of a woman, the holy Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, born under the law, to condemn sin in his flesh, so that those who died in Adam may be brought to life in him, your Christ. He lived in this world and gave us precepts of salvation, releasing us from the delusions of idolatry. He guided us to the knowledge of you, the true God and Father, he acquired for himself as a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, having cleansed us by water and sanctified us with the Holy Spirit. He gave himself as ransom to death, in which we were held captive and sold under sin. Descending into Hades through the cross, he, he that he might fill all things with himself. He loosened the bonds of death. He rose on the third day, having opened the path for all flesh for the resurrection of the dead. Since it was not possible that the author of life would be dominated by corruption, so he became the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep, the firstborn of the dead, that he might him in himself, that he that he might in himself be first in all things, ascending to heaven, he sat at the right hand of your majesty on high, and will come to render each according to his own works. As memorials of his saving passion, he has left us these gifts, which we have set forth before you according to your commands, for when he was about to go forth to his voluntary and ever memorable and life giving death on the night on which he was delivered up for the life of the world. He took bread and his holy 
pure hands, presenting it to you, God and Father, offering thanks, blessings, sanctifying it, breaking it, saying, Edoketis aiis aftu matites, ke apostolis ipon, labete, faiete, tutum ostito soma, verimon clomenon is afes in amartion. He gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Receive it, this is my body, which is broken for you. For the remission of sins. Likewise, he took the, the cup of the food of wine, and having me offered thanks to us in the sake of God. Edoketis aiis aftu mathites apostolis ipon pietex aftu pandes tuto estito emamu totis genis diathikis Verimon ke polon ekinomenon is afes in amartion. He gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Drink of this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the remission of sins. Do this in remembrance of me, for as often as you drink of the cup, proclaim my death and confess my resurrection. Therefore, Master, we also remembering the saving passion, life giving cross, this three day burial, resurrection of the dead, his ascension to heaven, and the coming to right hand, and right hand, God the Father, and the second and glorious coming, the obedience which fail for us, the nation of the the Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, be merciful to me, the sinner, and save me. Amen. Si prospero me, cata panda, que a panda, offering you these gifts from your own gifts in all and for all. Therefore, most holy master, also the sinful and worthy servant, for we have done nothing good upon the earth, but because of your mercy and compassion which you have so richly put upon us, we dare to approach your holy altar and bring before you the symbols of the holy body of the Lord of Christ. We pray and call upon you, O holy of holies, that by the favor of your goodness and the Holy Spirit may come upon us and upon these gifts you presented, to bless, sanctify, and may this bread that be the precious body of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, and that which is in this cup that be the precious blood of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, shed for the salvation and life of the world. with all the saints who throughout the ages Εξαιρέτως της Παναγίας Σακράντου υπερευλογημένης εν δόξου δεσποινής ημών Θεοτόκου και αη Παρθένου Μαρίας
raging heathen, quickly stop the uprisings of heresy by the power of the Holy Spirit. Receive us and declare us to be sons and daughters of the light and of the day. Grant us your peace, love, Lord our God, for you have given us all things. Above all, remember, Lord, Archbishop, will be the photos. Grant that he may serve your holy church in peace. Keep him safe, honorable, and health for many years. Rightly teaching, teaching the word of your truth. Remember also, Lord, those of each of each of us calls who mine and all your people. And all your people. Και δώσε μην ιστόμα δικημία καρδία δοξάζει και ημίν το πάντημον και μεγάλο προπέσον όμα σου του Πατρός και του Ιού και του Αγίου Πνεύματος γίν και αι και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων. And the mercies of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ shall be with all of you. Having remembered all the saints again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the precious gifts offered and consecrated, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That our loving God, who has received them at his holy, heavenly, and spiritual altar, as an offering of spiritual fragrance, may in return send down upon us divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy. Having prayed for the unity of the faith and for the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commend ourselves and one another and all our life to Christ our God. Και καταξιώσουν οι μας δέσποτα μετά παρησίας, ακατακρίτως τον μάν επικαλείστε, σε τον επουράνιον Θεόν Πατέρα και λέγειν. Πατέρα ημών, ο ειδής του ουρανής, αιαστείτε το όνομά σου, ελθέτου η βασιλεία σου, και μηχήνει τον θερμό σου, ως εν ουρανόν και επιεχίσει, τον άγραφημόν των επιούσιων, δώσει μην σήμερον, και άπεσε μην τα οφείλματα ημών, ως και η νύσα βιομήθος οφειράσεις ημών, και νύσα ενέχεις ημάς πειρασμών, αλλά είσαι ημάς από τον ομιλού. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil one. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Peace be to all. And with your spirit. Let us bow our heads to the Lord. To you, O Lord. Lord, Master, the Father of mercies and God of every consolation, bless, sanctify, guard, fortify, and strengthen those who have bowed their heads to you, distance from them every evil deed, and lead them to every good work, and make them worthy to partake without condemnation of these your most pure and life-giving mysteries for the forgiveness of sins and for the communion of the Holy Spirit. By the grace, mercy, and love for us of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, 
together with your all holy, good, and life-giving spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Lord Jesus Christ, I God, hear us from the And through us, to all your people, Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, be merciful to me, the sinner, and save me. Amen. Prosumen, <coughs> let us be attentive. Taia, this is the holy things for the holy. Lamb of God is broken but not divided for everyone.
Brothers and celebrants, forgive the unworthy priest. Brothers and sisters, forgive the unworthy priest.
As we prepare to come forward for Holy Communion, as I mention each week, please follow the direction of the ushers coming row by row with the newly baptized and newly chrismated coming forth first. And as a reminder, the holy sacraments of the church, uh, particularly Holy Communion, are reserved for those who have already been baptized or chrismated as Orthodox Christians and for those Orthodox Christians prepared to receive Holy Communion. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. The Lord is God and has appeared unto us. Of thy mystic supper, O Son of God, receive me today as a communicant, for I will not speak of the mystery to thine enemies, nor will I give thee a kiss as did Judas. But like the thief do I confess thee. Remember me, O Lord, in thy kingdom. Remember me, O Master, in thy kingdom. Remember me, O Holy One. In thy kingdom, to deep no sutum histicus, he maronia theo, in on on my paralaven, me gartis the Christum mysterion, he poor, filimasi doso.
σώσον ο Θεός των λαών σου και ευλογήσω την κοινωνία σου, O God, save your people and bless your inheritance. Remember, Lord, all those who commemorate this holy proscomy and wash away their sins in the blood of your Christ. Be exalted above the heavens of Christ, for the earth is full of your glory. Be exalted above the heavens of Christ, for the earth is full of your glory. Be exalted above the heavens of Christ, for the earth is full of your glory. Evloitos o Theos imon. Pandote ninkai keistus eonas ton eono. Partaken of the divine, holy, pure, mortal, heavenly, life, and life giving, and also mysteries of Christ, let us give thanks to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord have mercy. Having prayed for the perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless day, let us commit ourselves and one another. In our whole life, through Christ our God. To you, Lord. For you are our sanctification, and to you we ascribe glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Depart in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Lord, bless those who praise you and sanctify those who trust in you. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Protect the whole body of your church. Sanctify those who love the beauty of your house. Glorify them in return by your divine power. And do not forsake us who hope in you. Grant peace to your world to your churches, to the clergy, to those in public service, to the armed forces, and to all your people. For every good and perfect gift is from above, coming from you, the Father of lights. To you we give glory, thanksgiving, and worship. To the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages.
Well, we have come to the first week of Great and Holy Lent, through, through the first week, I should say, and we come to the first Sunday of Great and Holy Lent, which is what we call the, the triumph of orthodoxy, the Sunday of orthodoxy. So as we traditionally do every year on the Sunday of orthodoxy, we will have our young people, and even if you're an adult, you can come to, um, to process the holy icons around the perimeter of the entire cathedral, and then the, the children will gather up here in the Solea and will read the proclamation and the, the petitions that we read for the Sunday of Orthodoxy. And the choir will lead us around. If the Sunday school teachers and, uh, could, could round up the children. Andrew, I know we could just come this way. That'd be great. Follow Irene. Very good. Have mercy on us, O God, in your great goodness. We pray to you, hear us, and have mercy. First, 
further we pray for all pious and orthodox Christians. Again we pray for Archbishop Elpido Fortas and all our brotherhood in Christ. Again we pray for the blessed memory and everlasting repose of all devout Orthodox Christians who have fallen asleep of being hope and raised to resurrection, emperors, patriarchs, hierarchs, priests, priests, monks, deacons, monastics, fathers, forefathers, and ancestors, parents, children, brothers, and sisters, and kin, and from the beginning to these latter times, and for the forgiveness of their sins, whether deliberate or unintended. For you are the resurrection, the life, and the repose, of your departed servants, O Christ our God, and to you we give glory, as to your Father who is from everlasting, your all holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Again we pray for all pious and orthodox Christians. <speaking in Hebrew> Further, we pray for our country, the president, for all those in civil authority, and for armed forces on land and sea and in the air. Again, we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, safekeeping, protection, pardon, and remission of the sins of the servants of God all devout Orthodox Christians who dwell in this city, the parishioners, parish council, contributors, and benefactors of this holy cathedral. <laughs> Further, we pray that this holy cathedral in this city and every city and land will be kept safe against all violence pestilence, famine, earthquake, flood, fire, against the sword and enemy invasion and civil strife and sudden death, and that our good and loving God will be merciful and gracious and open to our entreaties to turn back all violence and evil around us against us and deliver us from his impending justified chastisement and have mercy on us. <laughs> Hear us, O God, our Redeemer, the hope of all the ends of the earth and those far away upon the sea. Show mercy, show mercy, O Master, towards our many sins, and have mercy on us, for you are a merciful and loving God. And to you we offer glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. As the prophets beheld, as the apostles taught, as the church received, as the teachers dogmatized, as the universe has agreed, as grace has shown forth, as truth has been proven, as falsehood has been disproven, as wisdom has been presented, as Christ has rewarded, this is what we believe, this is what we declare, this is what we preach. Christ, our true God, and we honor his saints in words, in thoughts, in sacrifice, in churches, and in icons. Christ, we worship as God and master, and his saints, we honor as true servants of the same Lord, and accordingly, we grant them veneration. This is the faith of the apostles. This is the faith of the fathers. This is the faith of the orthodox. This is the faith which has established the universe. Therefore, with brotherly love, we praise these preachers of piety for the glory and honor of their own pious struggle for the faith. And we say, eternal be their memory, the defenders of orthodoxy, pious sovereigns, holy patriarchs, 
hierarchs, teachers, martyrs, and confessors. Eternal be their memory. Let their deeds and struggles of pious faith, even unto death, tutor and strengthen you. Entreat our God that we may Im imitate their devout life unto our own end, beseeching him that we may be well may that we may be worthy of all of our askings, and by the grace and compassion of the great and first hierarch Christ, our true God, by the intercessions of our most glorious lady, Theotokos and Ever Virgin Mary, and of the godly angels and of all the angels. Teach the the people begun to see this is a change in the most high's right hand he of the Lord was God is as great a God as our God you Our God, our hope, glory to you. May Christ, our true God, who is risen from the dead through the intercessions of his most pure and holy mother, the Theotokos, by the power of the precious life giving cross, the protection of the honorable by the powers of heaven, the supplications of the honorable, glorious prophet and foreigner John the Baptist, of the holy, glorious, and praise of the apostles, of the holy, glorious, and triumphant martyrs, of our holy and God bearing fathers, of the holy and righteous ancestors of the Lord Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints whose memory keep this day, have mercy upon us and save us. And our fathers among the saints, Saint Basil the Great, Archbishop of Caesarea and Cappadocia, whose liturgy we have celebrated this day, and of all the saints, have mercy upon us and save us. He's a good God who loves mankind.
Δι' ευχών των Αγίων Πατέρων ημών, Κύριε Ιησού Χριστέ ο Θεός, ελέησον και σώσνη μας του the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ our God, have mercy upon us and save us. May the blessings of the All Holy Trinity be with you all. It's a wonderful day. I know it's distracting because we have a lot of children, but that's okay. That's, it's a wonderful thing to have noise in the church. And it's a beautiful thing because our children are gathered together. And children or parents and grandparents, this is the most important place you can ever bring your child. Don't ever worry if they're acting age appropriately. We have all, at all of our ages, we act in an appropriate way. And for young children, especially toddlers, this is an appropriate reaction. Just, just uh, imagine that they're praising God in their own way. <laughs> Young people, you have your icons in front of you. Learn about your saints. Learn about your feast day uh, because you are part of the living body of Christ. Parents, the church starts at home. So the icons are holy things. Venerate them. Honor them. But we worship Christ alone, so it is a beautiful day. Um, it is um, a joy, a true joy to have so many kids up here. And I know there's hundreds more that just aren't here necessarily. Have a beautiful, wonderful day. Please be seated. And young uh, parents, you may now take your children off the solea. <laughs> Good morning. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Well, as we just experienced the young people going around the, the church and holding their icons, it's a beautiful thing. And the, one of the most sincere and deepest forms of prayer that we can have is when we, perhaps, which we should have in our homes, uh, a, a place for our icons that we can go. And sometimes, not even say anything to God, but just simply listen and stand in front of the, the saints and the icons of, of the church, our patron saint perhaps. And so it's beautiful that the kids, I know it's distracting, I know it's, it's a kind of controlled chaos as they say, and hurting cats and all the other, all, all the other things you can say, but nevertheless, it's fine. It's, it's fine to have these young people in the church because this is where they gain their balance. We don't want them ultimately to leave. We want them to grow in their faith 
But it's not just the job of the priest. It's the job of the parents and the grandparents. And don't discount. Don't discount the little things that you do that your children or your grandchildren might see. There's a lot of things that we do that our children see that are not very good. Has anybody ever driven in Houston when your child was young and you said something you didn't really, you shouldn't have said and they were right in the back seat? Counter that. Do those things which are wonderful. I have told the story before that my grandparents were, you know, from, from Greece. They came to the United States over 100 years ago. They weren't educated. They had sixth and eighth grade educations, if that. But they, they passed on the faith, not by preaching the gospel, but by the way they lived their lives. And I used to watch my papu, my grandfather, every time he ate, every time he went to bed, I could see him in his room. And he did a simple prayer. He did the sign of the cross. That's it. That one act over a course of years as a young child influences us. So don't ever discount when you just do something so simple as making the sign of the cross before you eat, before you drive off somewhere, before you go to bed, when you get up in the morning. Whatever it is that you do, it's the most simple prayer you can do. And not only is God always watching us, of course, but our children are watching, our grandchildren are watching so it's a good day to remember that we are the living icons, although we process the beautiful icons and we declare the truth of orthodoxy, the, the Christian faith, faith rather, in the fullness of the faith. But you all, all of us together are the body of Christ. and We are the living icons of the church. Speaking of living icons, I share with you news um, it's, a, it's, it's with Haramolipi, joyful, I won't say sorrow, but with joy, but sort of a sad heart that our Metropolitan Isaiah, as you might have picked up in the liturgy, we didn't commemorate him today. We said, remember Lord Archbishop Elpido Foros, and because Metropolitan Isaiah um, decided to retire and submitted his papers to the Ecumenical Patriarchate a couple of days ago, and uh, he's no longer, after 32 years, as our bishop, he's retiring. He's ordained many of us. He has been here. He has been a spiritual father to us. He has been in place of the high priest on the throne. So it is sad today for me to see him retire. But nevertheless, the Holy Spirit presides, as he told us, over the church, and he will provide us with another chief shepherd. Perhaps it will be Bishop Constantine, but only the Holy Spirit, the Holy Trinity, knows who will be our bishop, our metropolitan one day, and according to the charter of the archdiocese, that should happen within the next 40 days or so. Of course, we would love to have His Grace Bishop Constantine be elevated because we have grown to know, know him and love him as our assistant bishop and chancellor in Denver over the, over the, the past, over a year now. And so um, we, we pray for him and we pray that the Holy Spirit provides the, the, right, um, the right leadership for a metropolis. It's a long time to serve as a metropolitan not only did Metropolitan Isaiah serve for 32 years as our Metropolitan, that's really since I've been 22 years old. That's all I've known. That's from a, from, a, from a young man, we've known Metropolitan Isaiah. And now we will commemorate somebody else in the future. Until further notice, we will commemorate as an exarch of the, of the Patriarchate. We'll uh, uh, commemorate Archbishop Opido Foros until the Synod meets and presents three names to the Ecumenical Patriarch and the Holy and Sacred Synod of the Ecumenical Patriarch, Kate, will decide between those three names, as we have a very conciliar and democratic system, and will choose that man, that bishop, that will lead the Holy Metropolis of Denver into the future. So we wish His Eminence Metropolitan Isaiah, who is now Metropolitan of Listra, 
no longer of Denver, but the metropolitan of Lista, an ancient see of the early church. And we will continue to pray for him. As a priest, you always commemorate in the proscomidi, you always begin the commemorations with all the names with the bishop that ordained you. So we will always remember and commemorate as clergy, myself, Father Dimitri, uh, who was also ordained 17 years ago uh, tomorrow um, on Annunciation. We will always commemorate Metropolitan Isaiah and then the, the proper order of the other hierarchs and the clergy. So we'll continue to pray for him. His eminence will reside at the Holy Archangel's Monastery in Candelia here in our own state. So he decided to move to Texas and, and to uh, reside there. I did get to see him a couple of weeks ago, and he is uh, in good physical shape after his uh, broken hip from several months ago. Um, he, he, he has a walker, but he doesn't really like to use it, as most people don't like to use their walkers. But uh, he's, still, he's still the same. He's still uh, the same person. Um, his hair is just a little longer, and his beard is a little bit more full now because monastics don't cut their hair. And so, uh, but he's still the same loving pers uh, person that he is and always was. And he sends his love and, and best wishes to our Annunciation Cathedral, the Proto Cathedral of the Metropolis of Denver. So we wish him well. So I share that news with you today. Um, because it is, it is a big generational shift in the order, the ecclesiastical life of the church. But having said that, it's, it's, it's time, and uh, we wish him all the best in his retirement, and I know that he will continue to pray for us. Speaking of hierarchs, his grace, Bishop Constantine, is uh, in Shreveport right now, and as soon as he finishes up the divine liturgy there, he will uh, be driving to Houston to celebrate this evening with us the Great Vespers for the Feast Day of the Annunciation. And all of the local parishes are invited. Um, all the other jurisdictions are invited to join us today, uh, this evening at 6.30. Um, normally, we have the Pan-Orthodox Great Vespers, but because today, in the order of, of services in the church, the Annunciation is tomorrow, and the order, the, the tipicon, as they say, the rubrics of the church, call for not pan-Orthodox Vespers, the procession of icons, but rather uh, today, this evening rather, we will celebrate the feast day, the great Vespers of Annunciation. And then following that, we will have a, a small reception in Martell Hall. And then tomorrow morning, we will also have uh, the great feast day of the Annunciation. We've already decorated the icon for tomorrow. It smells beautiful. You can smell it even from here. So I hope everybody can join us. I know it's Monday, but we take work off for a lot of other things. We call in sick other days, don't we? Call in sick tomorrow. It's okay. I'll write you a permission slip. Also, please join us next door. Or I think in today out in the, out in the uh, courtyard, for the coffee hour, and then if you'd like, join us next door for our Greek school, March 25th, uh, Greek Day Independence, which is also tomorrow, um, the 25th of March. The Greek school will offer a program at, at uh, 1230 this afternoon, so if you'd like. It is a ministry of the church. The kids do a tremendous job, and Kiria Katarina, does, our Greek school director, does a tremendous job, as do all the teachers. Have a beautiful, wonderful day. Kronios Aspola. Hokronio Pola for tomorrow for the feast day of the Annunciation of the Virgin Mary. And keep, uh, keep uh, uh, Metropolitan Isaiah in your prayers and that the Holy Spirit will grace us with the next great hierarch of our holy and great metropolis of Denver. May the Lord keep you and bless you. Amen.
Thank you. 